me come with me Emma no we had a station white blackout and then here we are Sam didn't come back online we managed to get through some of the hatch doors to mean central we got the EFR online <laughs> we couldn't get ours running never worked nothing works this place is a tomb yeah I see that I'm trying to think of a theory for why this is happening. Time travel? Parallel universes? Actually just aliens? I feel like of all the explanations, I would actually be pretty disappointed if it was actually just aliens. We gotta look for Josh. Hmm. So these people have been pretty down on their luck. Unlike us. We were doing pretty okay. We got the backup generator running, but these people... Everyone's dead, there's no maps, and uh... Oh, one really interesting thing though. This gym doesn't seem to know anything. Because the gym that we've seen from our own station, he seemed to know a lot about what was going on. Presumably. But this guy, either he's faking it or he really doesn't know anything. How do I know which is which? We'll redirect the power to the hatches on your command, Sam. Do a sweep of the modules. Josh might be hurt. Mm, I don't like how Emma right now is thinking that Josh is... someone good. We don't have any proof of this, so... I'm going to go on the assumption that Josh is someone dangerous to us until... We know otherwise. Oh, this is the astrophysics terminal again. Mainframe bay open. Mainframe bay open. Is that something I can fix? Maybe. Station Functionality Review Station Functionality Review, RSCA Summary I have performed the first Station Functionality Review as scheduled. Now that the mission has been active for one full calendar month, I must be candid here. I believe the committee would be disappointed with these results if they weren't already aware. I've liaised with the crew prior to launch and again since, and the general consensus is that the station does not have the required equipment and functions required for allocated missions. The expectations were that this was a flagship station with state-of-the-art hardware, but what we're seeing in the new sections of the ship is very bare. The universal ring is barely functional beyond providing access, these rooms are lacking in equipment, and it's clear corners have been cut. I would ask RCSA to liaise with the committee, 
EASA and CASA in order to better understand why the station is so poorly equipped compared to the spec we had trained for. Are we expecting additional equipment to be shipped up after an undisclosed delay? If not, then either we've been badly let down by our friends in the committee, or that they want to keep the cost of the mission as low as possible. I'm happy to go on the record with these statements, as the facts contained within this review are sufficient evidence to the claim. Stanislav Leonov, Observation Technical Officer Okay, so we now know that the station is cutting costs. And it's very strange that if they're cutting costs, why would there be two? Okay, we don't have to wonder about this because it's obviously weird that we're seeing the same kind of like documents and doubles of people, okay? That's... it's not normal. <laughs> mm. So Stan, the Russian officer here, the Russian astronaut, is telling the Russian agency, Hey, why are you guys sheeping out on the station? Go talk to Europe and America and China about it. But we don't really know if the agencies are all in on it or not. I don't remember signing up for a horror game. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Message to Houston, Sam. Sam? Shit. Houston, I don't know if Sam is broadcasting, but we have problems here. Serious problems. You have to make contact ASAP. I saw Jim heading to RU6 in a hurry and lock himself in. Is he trying to leave? He pushed me out of the way. I've never seen him like that. Which one? Which one? Hmm. Are there really two people? Okay, we haven't actually seen two people stand in the same spot together, right? So maybe this is all like some huge misunderstanding. What if Emma... Hmm. Cause you know how Emma previously said, I feel like I've changed. So what if she was really chicken before that and then she changed and now she's not so chicken? Which would mean that there really hasn't been any doppelganger stuff, it's just us being really confused. I'm thinking about this because the Jim we saw, he seemed pretty clueless, but according to this, this guy doesn't seem as clueless. And according to this, I'm kind of worried about Emma too. Maintenance Bay? Why don't we have a map, man? It's the same station. Okay, let's just search and go, okay? Message for whoever gets it. I'm heading to UC1 to get the comms open if I can. With no Sam, it's difficult though. Has anyone seen Jim? Yeah, Jim, why? Wait, you know how Emma saw someone holding a flashlight or something? And then that's how we found Jim? Jim just ran inside the room as soon as he saw us? Like, how did that work out? Toru data log. User Josh Ramon. Test calibration mode set to active. Hey, this is the same thing. Uh, not quite, not quite. The previous one we saw was by Jim. Damage to circuits P834 and AQ01 detected. Unable to schedule module separation. Launch settings updated by Josh Ramon. All settings reset. System lockout in effect. So in the other log, we saw that Jim was able to separate the module, but this one, Josh prevented it? Oh, do you wanna... Do you wanna open the hatch for me, Emma? Actually, can you just talk to me? I don't want to listen to the sound of nothingness. Please repeat your previous request. I said do a sweep of the modules. Search the area and look for Josh. He must be here somewhere. Oh my god, we gotta look for like three arms. That's a lot of area to cover. No? Why don't we just zoom past everything? Then I won't be scared, right? <laughs> Bad chance. Broadcast all. I just saw Josh. He's covered in blood. What the fuck is going on? Where is everyone else? I don't know if he's hurt or someone else is. Please, someone respond. Yeah, you know how I was talking about how maybe there's not actually a doppelganger situation? Actually, let's just throw that whole thing out because 
It doesn't account for the fact that there's two stations still, right? That's a fact. Hatch RU-1 has been recently closed. It might have something to do with the power being redirected to RU-6. Or it could be something else. Be careful. I'm an AI. I am a computer. I am not a flesh and blood. <gasps> oh. Oh, it was just the hatch closing. Okay. Okay. There's another one here that we can't get her to open. Newsflash, Sam doesn't know what happened either. <laughs> no. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want it. What if I see the hexagon again? Well, all three of these are closed. So I can't really progress here. Hmm? What was that? Laptop? It's not on though, is it? Oh, we just got it. <sighs> Please. I just want to live. I just want to live. No, I am an unfeeling AI. It doesn't matter if I live or die. My mission is to make sure my astronauts can live. Hatch, UN-5 is offline. Give us a few seconds. Jim, power it up. So the good news is we got through the first Russian arm and there was nothing. Is finding nothing a good news or a bad news? I am undecided. Hey, there's the other sphere. This is the workbench. The stickers. It's so cramped here though, I can't really do anything. What are these environment sensors anyway? Oh god... Can I go past? Not really, it's... What the heck is a string? Somebody manually patched it up? Remote power control module. Currently unavailable. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, at least we know it's here, if we ever need it. But otherwise, it seems to be a dead end. Oh! Sphere experiment notes. We have run a total of 14 test runs with the spheres, running the sphere on Sam's Pathfind networks around the station. Out of these, all 14 have been successful in reaching their waypoints within a 5mm delta on each axis, which is incredibly impressive, even for Sam. Combining this Pathfind network with object avoidance and spatial awareness is a bit more tricky, however. Without a human pilot, it's not considering impacts on mid-module objects, and we've had a few crashes in that regard, literally. These algorithms don't care about damage to themselves, just pushing forward with objectives, so we need to get a better balance between accuracy and spatial awareness, some self-diagnostics too. Finally, the boost system seems to work well, although we've only tested that on remote control and not with SAM. The Sam never got the boost system. Uh, given it's only supposed to be used outside and on human control, it's not a big issue. On human control? 
Wait, why are these handwritten anyway? You got like 20 laptops here. Hey, so maybe I don't have boost because... Because it's only supposed to be used outside? Why can't I see you from everywhere? Don't like this. We came in here. Oh. What do you mean? Like in terms of oxygen? Or do you just feel like a murderer? For no reason. But look though, this is probably by the gym that we just saw, right? The alive one. And he seems to know more. He's not the innocent guy that's with Emma right now. I haven't finished searching Universal yet. So is there a way for me to get to the other parts of Universal from here? Not via that hatch, that's for sure. Gotta find my bearings again. Yeah, we came from here. To Russia. Keep me company. Please repeat your previous instruction. I said do a sweep of the modules. Search the area and look for Josh. He must be here somewhere. Oh, we haven't been here, have we? I don't like that corridor. It's hexagonal. <laughs> Route tracking sensor. Oh, we've been here before. This is the place with the coolant stuff, right? These are all locked. I think we're going back the path that we raced through to get to gym. Okay, where'd the hexagon go? Here? Oh my god, why do I lose track of things so easily? Nobody come up, please. Please and thank you. Did you hear the noise too? We did. A few times, actually. And each time, things got worse and worse. What do you mean? Josh. He said they were signals, that only he could see them. But that they weren't meant for him, I'm telling you, he's dangerous. Bring her. What if it's just a lonely alien trying to invite people for his birthday party? And he's like, hey, bring her, because she's cool, and I want more friends at my party. Look, all I'm saying is that the probability of that is non-zero, okay? <laughs> I gotta- I need something to keep me sane right now. to stop bumping into things. Everything is off here. Are we done with Universal? No. This is the way outside, I think. Okay, well, I don't see any other computers. According to Jim, this version of the station, Elsa Yang is already dead. What about Stan? What about... I'm blanking out. What are the names of the other people? <laughs> the hatch to UC2 is offline. Wait, you can't let him in there. That's his mainframe. It's not my Sam's mainframe. Doesn't matter. It's a bad idea, seriously. Okay, opening now, Sam. 
fuck's sake. Jim doesn't like me either. He doesn't like Josh, but he also doesn't like me. Stay away from the mainframe. It's not functioning. It's too risky to turn it on. Maybe we can learn something from it. Uh... Oh, if we shut off the bay, then we can go back to the laptops earlier, was it? What? Command module. Wait. Is it just me, or is everything kind of covered in some... evaporation? Sustained fatal injuries. My condolences. Sam, I can't hear a word you're saying. I'll be with you soon. She doesn't have a the helmet. The helmet we saw before. We don't even know where she is. Is that supposed to be that shiny or is it the goopy stuff? Look, I feel like there's quite a bit of condensation here. She coming? They said don't touch this. What would you like me to do? I said do a sweep of the modules. Search the area ah. with the module. You must be here somewhere. You're lying to me. You're not coming. You want me to touch this. What would you like to know? Oh my god, I'm talking to me. System status, SAM status, mission status. What is your system status? All core functions are disabled. There is insufficient power to enable service. Tough luck for you. What is your SAM online status? I am here. What? I am here? Is that a proper response? It was all bugged up though, the 3D art that said SAM. What is your primary mission status? Jim Elias, Emma Fisher, deceased. Elsie Young, deceased. Stanislav Leonov, deceased. Josh Ramon, May Morgan, deceased. Primary mission status is inactive. Previous mission logs are now available. Oh my god. Uh, oh. How do I select this? Displaying. Authentication required. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. The code that we got for our station is a mission for this station. That's why we don't know about it. Precursor 1. Access granted. I'm so scared. Precursor 1, the tail. Can I... 
can't seem to read it. Sam mission duties. Hold on. I'm clicking on it. I can't respond. Oh. What is Precursor 1? Precursor 1. Mission Director William Stafford. Program Captain Jim Elias. Yes, we know this. William Stafford. Construct LOSS. Low Orbit Space Station. Install SAM, AI agent responsible for discovery. Reach event marker. I didn't finish looking at that yet. SAM mission duties. What is SAM's role? Initial discovery of three patterns in standard Kepler data set. What? Act as station assistant AI, log all observations, interpret any and all new data. Oh god. We'll start with one. What is pattern one? There are 23 pairs of identical transit light curves from different stars within our galaxy. This is statistically impossible. Each pair linked showed converging connecting vector lines at one point in space, hereby known as the event marker. Close to Earth's position, approximately four years from signal discovery. This pattern was labeled where and when. I don't really understand what you just said, but can I assume there to be some time travel shenanigans going on here? What is Pattern 2. On inspection of the 46 light curves discovered in Pattern 1, each transit graph contained a spike. This occurred at exactly the same point in time for each. This was labeled sync point. Sync. Would a station coming into contact with another station be considered a sink? What is pattern 3? Overlaying each of these light curves on the sink point creates a new pattern of sequential light curve troughs. There was deeper detail in the light curves themselves. When analyzed, they show a perfect description of the human genome. What? Each of the 23 pairs of identical patterns shows each chromosome in mankind's DNA code. This was labeled who? Female. Emma? Oh my god. Crew mission data. Captain mission data. What was the captain's mission? Precursor 1 had one objective. Approach event marker at where and when with who and observe. Approach Saturn on February 18 with Emma Fisher and see what happens. What was the crew mission? There was no active crew mission. Warning. Structural integrity failing. Power levels insufficient. 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 Is Emma an alien? 
shop. Bring her? What the fuck is bring her supposed to mean? It's out of control. I... Hold on. I wonder if we can go back to the laptop that we saw earlier. Nine fragments remaining. Do I have that many? All the audio logs. Can you not say insufficient in the background? I'm like... Josh Ramon Bio, doctor. August 9, 1990. Place of birth, USA. Active, 2022. Attachment, EASA. Background. Physicist working in the field of experimental fusion power research. Role, research. Suitability. Candidate is at forefront of modern atomic research and has, been, and has seen success in converting findings into practical scientific advance. At contact. Responsible for retrieval and analysis of discovered extraterrestrial technology remarks approved fast track for lost training candidates efr reactor also approved for installation on board observation in preparation for any increased power requirements and marker coordinates so that's why houston was so hell-bent on making sure the efr worked because we don't know what's going to happen here and they turn out to be right because we got no power You still want me to search for Josh? Don't, I don't want to hear this. Hey, this laptop had something else before, right? I think so. Stay away from me. Josh. The power is completely dead now. Wait, we were here earlier. Weren't we? This is back to the coolant thing. His voice sounded so close though. I wonder if it's worth going back to the laptops. You know, the ones that said, oh, mainframe bay open, cannot read, don't have power. You know, probably not because we don't have power right now. Okay. Josh. We gotta go to the EAS arm. Which we would get to via... Not here because this is the UN. Let's go back. But why was his voice so close there? Insufficient. 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 Hey, you're not really saving on power if you keep saying insufficient all the time. This is the Russian arm. CN arm. Oh, so that is the right arm then. This is the one that goes to the EAS. Where are you, Josh? I feel a little bit better that he sounds scared of me. Because I'm scared of you, but if you're scared of me, that seems to imply to me that I'm the dangerous one here. Maybe the other Sam has been the one showing him the bring her stuff. What would you like me to do, Emma? I said do a sweep of the modules, search the area and look for Josh. He must be here somewhere. Sometimes I just want to hear her voice. I can't open this. Josh is definitely beyond here. Oh! Come near me, 
And I swear to God. I don't. I'm a machine. I don't believe in God. Oh! Sam? You got a cross. Did Emma make it? I knew, Sam. They put us up here, knowing something would happen. Not what, but... There was a message in the fucking stars. You found it, Sam. It told them where to be and when. And they put us up here like bait or something. All of us. Listen, Sam. I'm injured. Coming here was a mistake. You need to find Emma and get us back to our own station. The fusion reactor on this version is unstable. Version. Everything here is unstable. The reactor. Sam. Jim. He attacked me the moment I got inside. And I wasn't the first to piss him off. <gasps> the other one! Sam. <gasps> Get Emma. Get us out of here. And stay away from Jim. No. Oh. You want trouble here? No! Josh! Wait, Jim! Someone is there, he found someone. It's just a suit, let's go. But Josh? Josh is gone. What? Jim, hurry up. We're going to... No! Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, shit. She doesn't have a rope. I knew it! Jim is evil! This Jim is not as innocent as he sounds. Oh shit! Sam Jim, I'm loose! You'll be fine. You'll be fine. We're headed the right way. Oh! Shit! Calm down. Oh, You'll be okay, Jim! You'll be alright. Jim! Jim! God. He's locking her out because he thinks the Saturn aliens want her. That Josh we were talking to was the one from our station. The one whose audio log we found in EAS-12 saying, Hey, what the heck? The module jettisoned out. I'm gonna go around the station. So he found the new station before us. And he also found the other Josh, who was killed by Jim. Oh, look at this! Even the station itself is like, perfectly symmetrical. Like a pear. I want to go home. <laughs>